Actually, I've been at death's door twice because of AIDS. The first time was when I first got diagnosed. I went in the hospital and uh, almost died, and, but for the grace of God, you know, I, I actually made it. Um, I lost about 60 pounds. The second time was when I had uh, a co-infection called MAC. That co-infection put me at 107.5 degrees. All I remember is searing, racking pain. And then dealing with the stigma of having HIV and AIDS. The discrimination, the hatred, the misunderstanding. And some people, you know, accept it with open arms and other people say they do, but they're afraid. Uh, there's a lot of that. Other than my boss, I had never, never ex came out to anybody about my diagnosis. Not even my parents, not even my sisters, nobody. The only reason why I told my boss was to save my job. It's, it, sometimes it's really hard. You know, I've lost a lot of friends through this by telling them about this, by being honest. I have had one relative who stated that, it, well, if he's got it, he must, deserve, he must deserve it. Uh, everybody else, believe it or not, has been actually been very supportive. It's made us realize that how important we are to each other. My wife is, uh, her name is Kelly, beautiful woman, the love of my life. She came over, gave me a great big hug, and we both cried and cried and cried the day I got my diagnosis. She would not leave my side, and to this day, she will not leave my side. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because they were offering me to do a photo shoot for this uh, event, and I was kind of afraid, kind of scared, and shame of myself because I don't want people to know about me because I said, what is going to happen? What are they going to think about me? I have a talk with my partner, too. And I, I, asked, I asked him, what should I do? Do you think it's time for me to come out to, and tell the people who I am and start hiding myself all this? And he says, yeah, it's time for you. It was a tough decision. And I think that I don't have to be hiding myself anymore for nothing and nobody else. And here I am, fighting for myself, looking healthy, and looking in good shape, <laughs> thanks God. And thanks to God, I'm still alive. I look in the mirror and I don't see that, I, you know, I'm an HIV person, I have HIV. You know, I, I look in the mirror and I see, I see myself. I don't hide my AIDS anymore. I'm tired of it. I've been diagnosed for, for 12 years now. You accept me for who I am or you don't accept me at all.